Welcome. Today we're going to be doing a playthrough of Spire's End. If you don't know much about Spire's End, well, good news for you, I don't know a lot about it either. But what I can tell you is, is it's a story-driven game that is split up into multiple chapters. And uh, each of those chapters, they have multiple paths and there are multiple endings. So with that being said, let's dive in. Okay, <clears throat> so this is the story deck that we're going to be going through. It says prologue on the top left, and it says begin here. Oh, nice. It was unusually dark before the moon was swallowed in red. Crimson light circled the dark orb like a bloodshot raven's eye. The ground shook, and something unimaginable drilled its way out of the earth. It tore through the town with ungodly force. The streets filled with fumes, and the townsfolk fell into a deep, unnatural sleep. The strong, the frail, and the innocent all disappeared under the red eclipse. The spire stood there in silence. At its base was a door left ajar. Reveal card number two. So, all the cards that you have discovered go here in this, uh, I guess, discovery deck, discard deck. The rulebook does mention that you can go through those again at a later point in time if it so benefits you, but I've got no idea how that's going to help. <clears throat> okay. Next card. Still says two. Prologue. It says, we'll paint this place with their blood, sweat, piss, and tears. <laughs> nice. Okay. Dust and debris. You wake horrified, gasping for air. Your head is pounding and you're covered in dust and debris. You unearth yourself and climb to your feet. A monstrous foreign object spirals above you, like the horn of a giant deity attacking the heavens. A quick glance reveals endless mounds of wreckage in every direction. It's strangely silent and you see no one about. You head off through the destruction to find your uncle, your last living relative. Thankfully, his cottage is outside of the spire's wake. Untouched, he left you a note. And the note... I know you will come looking for me. Don't. I deeply regret what I've done, but during this incident, I hid, then ran like a whimpering dog. In truth, I'm a coward crippled by fear. You're strong, courageous, everything I'm not. That's why you must go. I suspect those missing are being held captive in that spire. Mount a rescue, find them, free them. I am proud of the person you've become, you must remain strong. I fear many hardships and horrors lie ahead. Know that shame has clawed through my soul and I won't survive long. I've made sure of that, but before I go, I have some knowledge I need to pass on. And then it says, it is highly recommended that you review the instruction deck at this time. Otherwise, reveal card three. <clears throat> and good thing for you, I already read the instruction deck, so you don't have to listen to me read the instructions. So just to orient yourself, what we did do is we chose two allies at random here. We've got Dane the Rudderkin, and I've got Sedani the Silversmith. Uh, what you're seeing is the red cubes are their health, the black ones are their armor. The black armor, that takes damage first before your health. They were chosen out of a pool of seven randomly, and uh, these are the other five that remain in the ally deck. I've already told you about the story deck, discard deck, this guy's going to be used for combat. Dice are going to be used for combat. These, I have no idea what they are, but they are very cool. And then I've got a ton of cubes. Uh, the only flavor text that I think is worthwhile noting in the instruction book is this one. When you're doing your ally selection, it says, There are seven of you now, seven of 518 souls. Be it divine intervention or fool's luck, who knows? What I do know is that each of you will serve a purpose. Follow these steps carefully. And then it tells you how to set up all your allies. So, and if you haven't figured it out, I've got the instruction deck. It's got a couple of nice little references that I'm going to be using as we play. But don't worry if you can't see that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and at this point, this is all I know about the game. I, I got to the point where I had to read the instruction deck, and now we are ready to play. So, let me do that guy there. And... Card number three, chapter one. Cautious steps. You approach the door with a cautious step. Nice. <laughs> I warn you, it's worse in there than you think. 
And you've imagined the unimaginable, no doubt, says an unfamiliar voice. A small creature reveals himself from behind the door. He is unkempt, a little worse for the wear. His eyes appear kind. What are you? You've never seen this creature before. I've always been close, but you people are far too involved with yourselves to notice. We live right beneath you. Only, this thing here is from much, much deeper, he mutters, looking up at the spire. What do you know about this, you ask? Hopeful? I've swirled around. These underdwellers have horrible red eyes. They move silently and quickly. He stops and sniffs the air. <laughs> I must go. With that, he scampers off into the spire. You move to follow him when you you move to follow him when you see it. Red eyes cutting through the darkness. You attack. Reveal cards four and five. And uh, oh, looks like that's the guy that we were talking to. Nice. Oh, the one other thing I do know about this game is the art's gorgeous. <clears throat> Feel free to argue with me about that. Okay, uh, reveal cards four and five. Nice, very pretty. Uh, the doorman setup. Okay, uh, doorman setup. Set up the encounter as it's pictured below. Place the doorman in the play field above your ally cards. Put his hit point and armor point cubes next to him. Tip, bleed damage skips armor points and damages hit points directly. Bleed skips armor and hits points directly. Okay, good to know. And I think that's probably... Yep, yeah, minus one HP per turn. Yep, and the status effects. Okay, and then... After any encounter, allies in the play, allies in play regain all hit points and armor points. Any status effects and boost meters are cleared. If you defeat the doorman, reveal card six. Nice. And the doorman. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Keys. <clears throat> awesome. All right, here we go. So the 10 here means he's got 10 health, or 10 HP, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Got that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then this means he's got 4 armor. 1, 2, 3, 4. Holy crap, he's got a lot of health for the first enemy in the game. Um, <clears throat> and I think we're ready to begin. So, the way it works is ally 1 is Dane, ally 2 is Sedani. So, unless the game says otherwise, I start first. Uh, so, what's neat about combat is, so it starts with, I get to choose an action. And these red blocks here, these are the actions that I can do. And what's neat is, you spend health. So, for this first one, punch, if I spend no health, I can do whatever's in that column. If I spend one health, I can use bash and boast, and so on and so forth. And then I roll a die, and then based on the results, I do the results in that column. So just to start, I think... <laughs> Crap. <laughs> he's, got a... he's got a lot of health. Well... Can you do a lot of damage? <clears throat> you can do a good amount. Eh, what the heck. We'll do bash and boast. So that means... Cost one, so I spend the health, goes away, roll the die, nice. Got a six, so a six means for bash and boast that I do two damage to him. So I take off two armor cubes, and that is my action phase. Now next is the recoup phase, which has the little word recoup over it, and pretty much what I can do is I can choose to heal or I can choose to cleanse. This costs me nothing. Uh, cleanse is if I have any status effects, but I don't have any of those right now. So I'm just going to do heal. Uh, let's see what I get. A two, nothing happens. And then the last step of your turn is upkeep, but I have no status effects. That's the only time you would do it. <clears throat> so now uh, to Sedani, the silversmith. Uh, let's see. She's got good health and she's got good armor. Let's do... Yeah. You know what? What the heck? I'll do mini cannon. I'm going to do... I'm going to spend two health. And then let us see what we get. Nice. A six again. All right. Oh, shoot. Cool. So mini cannon, a six gives me three damage. So armor's gone. And... Three. 
So now the enemy goes. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I did that, now I get a recoup. Uh, so I've got heal and I've got rebuild. And I believe rebuild is plus one armor. <clears throat> Everyone's at max armor though. So I think I'm just gonna do heal, because that would be nice. So let's see what she gets. Ooh, nice, an eight. A heal, eight. Oh crap, so I get three. Heck yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I get one, two, and then because my health limit is five, so what actually happens now is it has in the top right here, it's called boost. So any extra health that I have, boom, right there. It uh, gets identified right there as boost. So once I fill that up to three, I believe for boost, once you fill it up to three, you then get to do a strength one. Let us verify <clears throat> very quickly. Boost. Uh, once you fill the meter, you can spend it for strength one. And strength is plus one action plus one on action roll. So plus one on action roll. Right? Okay, so that gives you plus one value on your action roll. So that's fine. Uh, okay, so that's it, and I've got no cleanup. So now the enemy, so the enemy's gonna do the same thing, but the only difference is they need to do enemy selection. So I'm gonna use the red die again as what the result's gonna be, and then I'm gonna use the black one for enemy selection. So if it's one to four, it's Dane, five to eight, Sedani. Nice, so they're rolling a one and seven, so five to eight, it is Sedani, so they're gonna target Sedani. And then to know what action they do, I draw an action card, and that is four. So they're gonna do action four, which is swipe. Because they had a value of one, they miss and nothing happens. Nice job, guy. <laughs> okay, and uh, that's, that's combat. So, okay, back to Dane. All right, Dane doesn't have a lot of well, see, this guy can do one damage, two damage. He's got some status effects. What are his status effects? He's got bleed, bubble, bleed. So those don't sound good. So, no, oh, that's fine. Let's do, and let's roll the dice, quite literally. I'm gonna spend two health on Dane to do bloodlet. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, a two. That was a uh, two health well spent for that action. Nice. So let's go ahead and heal for him. A three. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, nothing happens for him. <laughs> so, uh, Sedani, let's see. Well, how much has he got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. Well, <clears throat> she did good in healing. Let's do it again. Let's do the mini cannon. I kind of like that. So spend two health, nice. Roll the five, so that means I get to do two damage. So one, two, enemy's turn. I actually kinda like this, it plays pretty quick. Seven, targeting Sedani with a power result of five. It's gonna do action number four again. Uh, there are, it's one through six in that deck and I believe there's four of each. So action four, with the result of five. All right, here we go, here come the status effects. So she's gonna take two damage, so it's gonna go to her armor first. Did I heal for her? I don't think I did. I did not heal for her, I just attacked. I'll roll this for her so we can see real quick. <clears throat> five, perfect. So she would've gotten one health back, yeah. Yeah, I don't think you rolled that, cool. Okay. Uh, let's see, so swipe, did the two damage, so now status effect C is gonna happen, which is bleed, and those three little circle icons means it's gonna, there's gonna be three of them. <clears throat> so, and bleed is minus one HP per turn, and that is true damage, as the game told us. So to mark that, I'm gonna take these little yellow cubes, one, two, three, and put them on her. So at the start of Every, no, I, no, during the cleanup phase for her, that's when we'll resolve those status effects, and then she'll take that true damage. So, good to know when I attack with her now. So, uh, I believe that's it. Okay, back to Dane's turn. 
Hmm. Yikes. Because if he gets bleed, he's going to be in a bad spot, but... Let's do Bash and Boost. So I'll spend one health on him. Three. <laughs> Another failed result. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Let's roll for heal. A one for heal. Dane's on a roll. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's got no status effects, so now we go to Sedani. Let's see. So I know she's going to lose a health at the end of the turn, so I don't want to spend too much. Let's see, she can have five armor as well. Uh, let's do Bulwark Bash again. So, nice. Okay, so rolled an eight on Bulwark Bash. That means I do two damage to the Doorman. And what I also get, there's a, if you roll an eight, that is called a kickback. So she actually gets another armor back. So boom, got an armor kickback. Uh, there's health kickbacks as well, and it looks like, yeah, Dane has health kickbacks, so. <clears throat> okay, who would have thought the one that looks like more of a defender would be doing more of the damage? So, anyways, okay, so that's that. Now it's time to recoup. I'm going to heal. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got an 8, and actually what I can do, so I can spend this on Dane, and I think I'm going to do that, because that's going to be 3 heal. So you can't split up the heal, but you can, one, two, three, you can give it to an ally. So it's all or nothing. Either one person gets it or the other. So that's that. Time to recoup. So she had bleed. So I'm going to take a bleed uh, token. I was going to say coupon off. And when you take that off, she does one health true damage to herself. Well, she does it to herself. Well, she bleeds. So she takes that damage. And, uh, crap. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> Okay, so the only thing that could actually kill her this turn is Key Burst, and if you roll a 6 or an 8. So let's let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, <laughs> that would be bad on the first encounter. Oh god, here we go. Um, <laughs> oh wait, no, okay. So it's a 4, so it's Dane. Result is a 7. The action is going to be a 3. So for the 3, that's going to be Puncture. It's going to be Dane, Puncture, value of 7. Yikes, he's going to get hurt too. So he's going to take two damage. So I'm going to lose two armor cubes on him. And then for Puncture, he is going to take B. Status effect B is bubble. And that symbol <clears throat> says the doorman bubbles themselves. So what happens? Bubble. Plus three armor on target. Ignore ally armor threshold. Remove after enemy's turn. So... That round icon means it doesn't take effect till the next time, so that sucks. So I'm going to do one, two, three armor on him for his next turn. So that was that. Oh, <clears throat> I think I forgot to heal. That's right. Oops. Oh, shoot. Was that the second turn? I think it was. Yeah, because the they recoup as well. But he can only heal, so no big deal. I'll just roll twice for him for the heal. Let's hope that's right. So, six. Cool. So, Dorman gets one health back. Maybe this was the third time? Actually, yeah, I think it was the third time. Eight. Oh, boy. Um. <laughs> oh, this is turned quickly. Yeah, I never healed him, so let's... Did I do the first one? Well, that's a two, so it doesn't matter. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay. Yeah, 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 that's right. Okay, and then the status effect, so... Cool. Okay, let's go back to Dane. So, dorman has got three extra armor this turn. That was bubble, right? Plus three armor on target. And remove after the enemy's turn. So, that kind of sucks. Mm. You know what I want, though? Hmm, I'm thinking I could do Bloodlit. It's kind of a waste, but... Nah, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to do Punch. I, I don't want <clears throat> to waste my stuff on this guy. So, and I've already got 6 health, so... Yeah, we'll just do Punch. Hopefully I get an 8. 3. Punch the air. Nothing happens. Alright, let's recoup. Let's heal. 1. Sweet. He's doing good. He's doing good. <laughs> Alright, Sedaney. So um... You know, I could rest for her, so there is a rest mechanic where 
Yeah, you know, that might actually be my best bet. So I'm going to rest for her. That means I don't take any actions, but I get to do the recoup roll. So I go straight to recoup. I don't do any actions. And what I do then is I get, if I don't get a one on the heal, I then get a bonus of plus one HP. So let's see. Five. Nice. So that's actually really good. So I got one health because of the roll, and then I got plus one because I was resting. And then you mark the rest right here. And the way that works, and again, I could have given the health to Dane, but <clears throat> he does not need it. So the, the way this works is my rest is cleared if I take an action next turn, but if I do rest again a second turn in a row, I will then, if I'm successful and I don't get a one, I move this rest cube over one, and I get a plus two health bonus instead of the plus one I just got. So uh, that was pretty good. So that's that. I'm going to do my upkeep. Upkeep. So take one bleed damage. Take that away. And then let's go to the doorman. Nice. Okay, so he's targeting Dane. Result of a seven. Action is going to be the four. Well, we're almost through the fours. So, result of a seven, yikes. <laughs> Action four, swipe. So, Dane's going to take three health. One, two, three away. So, he loses one armor, two health. And he is not looking so great. No, he is not. <clears throat> and then, oh boy. <laughs> um, because of that, so we go to C. He is going to take bleed, but he's going to take three bleed. Yikes. Yikes. Is this what happened to Sedaney? No, that's just swipe. Yikes. Okay. So he's got three bleed. We're going to roll for heal for the doorman because we remember this turn. That's three. Nothing happens. And then bubble's done at this turn. So his armor goes away. Dane is not looking in good shape. No, he is not. So... You know, I want to kill the doorman, but I also don't want to die. So I'm going to try and rest with Dane. So we go straight to heal. It's a five. Five means I heal one, but because I rested, I heal two. One, two, which is pretty good. Put this right here. Upkeep. Oh. <clears throat> Take a bleed damage. Goes away. We are now at Sedani's turn. <laughs> So she's going to take one more bleed damage. I'm not going to rest with her, so let's just clear this because I know that's going to go away. Uh, because if I take an action, the rest doesn't carry over. Um, see, I want to do her rebuild, which I think could give more armor to him, but force deflection would kill me. Let's not kill myself. If I do Bulwark Bash, I'm going to take a... No, let's play it safe. I'm just gonna do shield thrust. I don't I don't like to take a big hit from the opponent. Three shield thrust, nothing happens. So I'm gonna recoup and I think I'm going to do the rebuild one instead of the heal. And rebuild is plus one armor. Yeah, because if I can do this, I can give it to Dane. So three, awesome. No support for Dane. <laughs> uh I, I fear Dane's gonna die pretty quick. <laughs> First encounter in this Thick deck, and my first hero one might die. <laughs> okay, well, the good news is bleed's done. So, do that, do that, done. All right, Dorman's turn. Seven. That means he is going to target Sedaney, which is good, because I take the aggro off of what's-his-face Dane. Ooh, and it's a one. I think all the ones are miss, but let's still burn this. Nice. So a six, which is key burst. And that star next to the three to five means whatever you roll, that's how much damage it would have done. So it's good to burn that six. So nothing happens. Let's roll for heal. That's a six. Dorman gets one health. Jeez, these encounters are pretty long. And this is the first one. Okay, Dane. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to rest with him again. So if it's not a one, let's see. A seven. Nice. Oh, yeah. So he gets two health from the seven, and because of my rest, I get another two, so that's four health. So let's get four cubes. Two, three, four. So he has a max of six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'm going to have two boost in strength, and I think it's just going to 
market here, or I say two boosts in strength. I get two boosts, so the overfill goes there. So, nice. Uh, status effects, boop, takes a bleed. Sedani's turn. <clears throat> and Sedani, while she doesn't have bleed anymore, she's still not in the best spot. So, huh, this is a... <laughs> These are tough choices. Um, yeah, because if I take bleed again with her, I am in a really crappy spot. Uh, let's do board bash, because I still need to kill the guy. So, oh, an eight. Oh, the heal would have been good. That's okay. Nice, and I get an armor kickback. Ooh, that, that was a really good result. Okay, board bash, so he takes two damage to the doorman. Armor kickback, I'm going to give that to Dane, because I don't want him to die. And now I'm going to... I'm going to try and heal myself. Six. Nice. Okay, so one health back to Sedani, and it's the doorman's turn. Interesting. Uh, the dice aren't loaded, but Sedani rolls better for some reason. So, let's see. What do we got? Five means Sedani's going to get hit with a power of six. It's going to be action number two, which is going to be stab. And that's just going to be a two damage, which isn't too bad. And now Dorman's going to roll for heal. A seven. Gets one health. And we're on to the next turn. All right, Dane. <clears throat> I like the flow of this. This is very... It flows very quick. I'm not going to rest with him, so I'm going to get that out of the way. And then... Yeah, we need, we need to try to get rid of this guy. So... I'm going to do two for Bloodlet. I say that and I spend uh, the two action. Um, <laughs> Come on. Three. Oh my god, Dane hit someone. Wow. <laughs> Alright, three damage. Nice. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. We're getting close, we're getting close. Let's roll for heal. Oh my gosh, Dane! Yes, there we go. An eight. He heals three. One, two, three. Do the last bleed. Take away one of those health. Okay, so Dane. <clears throat> Man, we could try and hit this guy. No, I'm going to have her rest. And it's a one. That means the rest is an utter failure. Let's hope she doesn't get hit for four. That would be unfortunate because she's been my powerhouse this round. Uh, yeah, that's it. So if I rest, that is my recoup phase. So uh, no, no upkeep. Dorman. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so we're targeting Sedani. Power of five. Number two, which is stab. Oh, we are getting close. <laughs> All right, so that does two damage to Sedani, but no status effects, thankfully. So she's got two health left. All right. Uh, roll for heal on the doorman. That's a four. Gets one health back. And now we're back. Hmm. See, I kind of want to do damage with Dane. <clears throat> Man, I would love to finish this guy off. Because I do could do Split Fist, but I also need to heal Sedani. But I think I'm going to have her rest. So let's, let's keep chipping away at him. Let's do Bloodlet. We'll do two. We're going to play it a little safe. A three. Oh, okay. It still hits him. Good. All right, so that is three damage to the enemy. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can use his heal on her. So let's roll for heal. Three, no one heals, no upkeep. Sedani, that's going to have her rest. Let's heal. That's a four. She gets one health. Ooh, just barely. So because I rested, I get two. And I put one on my rest tracker. And no upkeep. Dorman. Okay, targeting Dane. With the power of eight. That's not good. Action number three. Oh my gosh. Did he die? Puncture. So he's going to take two damage. One, two. And he's going to take B. B. Okay, so B is just the doorman bubbles himself, which isn't the best, but that might be good because I can have a round to heal. So doorman bubbles himself, and that's it. Doorman rolls for heal. Four, gets one, and we're back. <clears throat> so, let's see, uh, I got these black dice everywhere. 
Um, yeah, you, you can't die on me right now. Let's rest. That's a three. Nothing happens. But I still get a health. Yes. Uh, because I rested, even though the heal was a fail. So, that's it. So Danny's turn. It's coming down to the wire. I could rest for her and then give it to Dane and then spend a lot on Dane's next attack. Yes. Let's do that. So I'm gonna <clears throat> put the armor. Mm, yeah, yeah, let's do that. This bubble. So rest. That's a three. Nothing happens. But because it was my second time, I get two HP for it. And I'm not gonna give it to her. I'm gonna give it to Dane so he can have a more powerful turn next time. So. <clears throat> that's it no upkeep and then now we're going to the doorman let's see what he does power of six the power of six targets Sedani. action two which is stab six is two damage to her she is dangerously close let's roll for heal on the doorman that's a seven because why not? And we're ready. Bubble goes away. Okay. Well, we're definitely not resting. Let's do it. <clears throat> we're going to go for Split Fist. Yeah. We're doing Split Fist. Spending three. Come on. Three or greater gives me a good hit. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> a two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. Oh, whatever. Uh, let's roll for heal. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it's a five. At least he healed himself. <laughs> How was this the first encounter? Um, yikes. Yikes. <laughs> Sedani, I guess she'll heal and take that rest, rest benefit. That's a four. So she gets one plus three. That's four. One, two, three. Four. And that puts her in the boost. Boop. Ooh, if I had boost, that would be good for her rolls. I just realized that. Hmm. Okay. Um, dormant. Four. Oh, gosh. Please, no. Uh, that might be it for Dane. Yikes. <laughs> okay. So, attacking Dane, power of seven. I probably shouldn't have healed Dane. I don't know. And we're in... Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Um... Action five is Key Swarm. There's a little symbol next to it. What's that mean? This attack slash ability... Oh my god. <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> the, the symbol next to Key Swarm means this attack slash ability affects all opposing targets in play. Awesome. So that happens with the power of seven. So... <laughs> Dane just died. Um, what? And Sedani takes three damage. Um, I did not expect to lose someone on the first encounter. Uh, yikes. Okay. Well, okay, so when he dies, I uh, did not think I was going to be explaining this this quick. Um, so they have a death move, so that's the black bar underneath. Jeez, I thought Dane was going to be like a powerhouse. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, the, the death move, that is the black bar underneath the red action. So his says luck on chosen target. And that little circle means it's going to happen once and on the next round. So luck is on an action, roll twice. Pick the best roll. That's not bad. Too bad Sedani has no health. Um, well, there you go, Sedani. You are going to be lucky the next turn. And what happens now is he's out of the game. <laughs> Like, how? <laughs> um, I'll just put him to the side. 
<laughs> so now we draw a new ally, and our new ally is... And uh, I think the game ends once you run out of allies, so I've only got five in here, so this is going to be number three of seven. Ooh, this guy looks big. Nice. And he has not much health either. Leo Frick, the Forester. Leo Frick, the Forester. Let's populate his starting health. He's got five. And two armor. One, two, three, <clears throat> four, five. Two armor. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out all this stuff. So, okay. Key burst really sucks. Or key swarm. Man, who would have thought key swarm would have been worse than key burst? I, I thought the the six would be the worst. So, Dorman also gets to roll for a heal. Oh, it's a one. Wow. Um, something good happened. Um, all right. Let's look at Leo Frick. What's he got? Ooh. <clears throat> He's got a lot of symbols. Antlered. What's this symbol? This attack slash ability is performed twice during one action. This attack ability is performed twice during one action. Uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> and I believe, based on the way luck reads... Oh, this is actually a good good uh, sequence to have these things luck is on an action roll twice pick best roll but if you have that little symbol that he has roll three pick best two so i think i roll twice on antlered nice <clears throat> okay uh, let's see splintered is the same way oh and antlered also hits everyone nice yeah jack attack <clears throat> You know, I kind of just want to do jack attack. I, I want to end this guy, so let's spend two health for jack attack. And please be good. <laughs> it misses. It misses. Okay. I'm going to heal. A six. Get a one back. <laughs> this is rough. Um, You know, for resting, I'm not sure... <laughs> I didn't think I would need to ever hit the max rest, so I didn't really look at it. Uh, rest is an option you have to make up for lost hit points. If you skip your action, you can elect to rest. Rest will get you plus one, plus two, plus three on your recoup. Keep track of your consecutive rest. Uh, rest meter resets if you perform an action or after three rest. So, <clears throat> that's actually reset. Okay. Oh, and she has luck because Dane died. And luck is on action roll twice, picks Bex roll. I could do Bulwark Bash, but then if she gets targeted, she is not in a good spot. Um, I think I almost need to heal, so we'll just do rest again. Shoot. It's a two. I don't get healed, <clears throat> but she gets plus one HP for resting. That was... Wait, do I get to roll that twice? On an action, no. On an action. <clears throat> Resting is not an action, so I just wasted... Dane died for nothing. That is what just happened. So, nice. Okay, um, yeah. Dorman. Hitting Leo Frick. Four power five. Action number one. He's gonna take two damage. He has no armor. Dorman rolls for heal. That's a six. Heals one. And we're back at it. Okay. <clears throat> this is tough. You know, I thought I'd beat this game on my first try, but now I'm seriously thinking I might not. See, because I don't want to let, let this guy keep healing, but I'm just like, what else do I do? <clears throat> Splintered's okay. See, Jack Attack is really where it's at, or Mash. But I kind of want health. Although she could heal me. Mm. I'm frozen because I'm being more defense, but he, he always rolls bad. Let's just, uh, we'll rest. Nice. That actually works out really good. Really good. So that's three on the rest. So that actually gives me four health. 
because I got three on the roll, and ooh, that's perfect, actually. <clears throat> nice, because he can boost next turn. Oh, that worked out really good. Okay, so one, and then I have three extra. I'm just going to mark it on the three spot. And then, oh, I can spend the boost immediately, which gives me <clears throat> strength for one round, and then strength was plus one on an action roll. So I'm going to spend that now immediately, and then I'm going uh, to... Let's mark boost with a clear one. So he's going to have plus one on the action roll. <clears throat> and, oh, and if you have, if you have that attack roll twice thing, wait, plus one action roll. If you have that symbol where you roll twice, plus one on the highest roll. Okay. And that is... <clears throat> cool. Okay. So that's that. He healed. We're done. Uh, Sedani. Sedani. You know, boosting might not be bad for her actually either, because she's almost there. Yeah, because we're, we're good on rest. Ooh, now I see. I, I see the synergy with the rest. Okay, so seven. Uh, I was resting. Nice. That actually worked out really good again. Okay, I, I, I think I'm getting a feel for it. <clears throat> you rest, you can kind of start building it up. So rest was successful, so I got two extra HP, and then I got... From the seven, I got two health, so she's at two, and then two extra, so I don't think I can overflow the boost. I think once it's full, because I only need one, so I have two overflow again. Do you boost the boost? I don't think so. <clears throat> I think once you have it, during recoup, you may receive more hit armor points than you can due to the threshold limit. In these cases, place the extra HP or AP points on the boost meter, also located in the top right. Once you have the meter filled, you can spend it. So I think it's max. Uh, I'm going to say it doesn't carry over. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's say it's filled. Uh, but we'll, we'll, do, we'll do carry over. Why not? Eh, okay. <clears throat> filled. And then I spend it, so then I start refilling. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. So she's also going to have plus one on her next action. So let's roll for the doorman. Okay, he's going to attack Leo Frick, the forester. Oh, cool. He's got a little, little animal on him. <laughs> Power of three. Action one. That is a miss. Wow. Something good. And a six. Heals for one. <clears throat> Alright. I've got plus one on the action roll for both of my people. We're gonna kill this guy now. Yeah. You know what? I'm going all in. Let's do timber hack. One, two, three, four. I think I kind of see how I should have been playing. <clears throat> you can kind of use these boosts and whatnot. So, okay. I uh, just want to make sure I have strength. Plus one on an action roll. Okay, so it's gonna be plus one to this. I'm doing timber hack. Oh, it's a nine! Um, oh my gosh! Well, okay, it's done. Um, <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's not done yet, almost. Wow! That is like the best one he could have done. I'm so happy. <laughs> Something good happened. <laughs> I do six damage to the doorman. Ha chow. Nice. Wow. Okay, uh, and then B also happens, which is luck, and then I can do luck on an ally. And luck is, on an action rule, roll twice, pick the best. Oh boy, this is good. So she has luck and strength, Sedani. <clears throat> the tide just turned. Okay, and I also get a kickback of health. So that is good too. Boom. Let's roll for heal. It's a five. Wow, why the momentum? <clears throat> okay, so sedani so has got plus one to her roll, and she gets to also luck, so she gets to roll twice. And then I'm just going to take the better one and then add plus one to that. He's only got one health, but <clears throat> I'm kind of tired of fooling around with this guy. So actually, you know what? Force deflection does the same damage numbers. Yes. Actually, I just need to hit him for one, so... The ranges are all the same up to mini cannon, so just just in case, just in case. Gonna spend two for mini cannon. Three, and yeah, let's call it there because I don't need to 
do all their stuff because I knew I would take that one because it would hit them. <clears throat> oh my gosh, we killed the doorman. So the doorman has been slain, although <laughs> yeah. we had an adventurer die on the entrance to the spire. Not looking good. Okay, so at the end of combat, um, every everything refreshes. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And all your statuses are cleared, and you have a clean slate. So one, two, three. Wow, I forgot she had so much armor. It did not feel like that. <clears throat> Let's see, what do I got? I got five, two, five, five, and yeah, okay, we're good. Who would have thought this guy would have been so rough? <laughs> uh, it doesn't say anything once I beat him, so I'm thinking I just go to the next card. Oh yeah, if you defeat the doorman, reveal number six. If you defeat, yeah. Who would have thought that if was real? All right, still in chapter one. Victory! Uh, something plus one. Increase an ally armor point threshold by one. Oh, that's cool. Pool card 32. Mark this accomplishment, then continue. <clears throat> uh, okay, increase ally armor threshold. You know, Sedani seems like she's going to be good, so I'm going to just put her at six. I have no idea how I'm supposed to remember this, but... I'm just going to always remember she is one over her threshold. <clears throat> okay, uh, pool card 32. When it says to pull a card, that means you just go straight to it. Interesting they're having me go all the way to 32. Pool card 32? Really? <clears throat> pool card 32, which says chapter 2. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, um, interesting. Why don't we put it all the way over there? Ally threshold counters. Mark this accomplishment, then continue. Um, I mean, it looks pretty. So keys, coins, but I don't know how I know who has what. I guess Sedani will just be one color, and the other guy the other color? Mm, yeah, let's go with that. How am I logically going to remember that? I have no idea. <clears throat> I'll do a black one because she's like the armor person. So plus one there for her. And yeah, we're good. Okay, pull card 32. Mark this accomplishment and then continue below. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What do we got? Okay, the creature is bleeding on the floor. Thank God. Uh, facing you. He shifts a bit, still alive. What have you done with them? You know it understands, regardless of what language it speaks. Around him are keys, at least ten of them. Some are chained to him, others loose. Two keys are directly in front of you. It could be your imagination, but it looks like one is beginning to move. Ooh, now I have a choice. You must decide. I can finish him off and take everything, reveal card seven, leave him, Let's take what he has and move on, and let's take him captive. Honestly, you know, <laughs> I probably should, like, be nice to him, I'm assuming, but because he killed Dane, we're going to finish him off and take everything. Reveal card seven. Number seven. Boop. <clears throat> Dancing keys. Oh, gosh, this is, like, brutal. <laughs> You stab him until he stops moving, <laughs> then reach down to pick up a key. It slides away along the floor. The other keys start to shake and pop like kernels in a skillet. Oh, interesting. Uh, it slides along the other, pop like a skillet. Another key leaps into the air, then disappears. Then another, and another. Quickly, you dive, to you dive towards the closest key. Uh, question mark and I die. I'm assuming this means I roll. Roll 1d8, and now this decides our, our fate, so... A five. Well, at least it's not the worst one. Um, oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> they disappear quickly. Only one key remains, silent and unmoving. You reach down, expecting it to leap away, but nothing happens. Whatever life it has has moved on. Or whatever life it held has moved on. They disappear quickly. One key remains, silent and unmoving. You reach down, expecting it to leap away. Huh, interesting. Reward the first key. 
And I'm going to assume I also mark that over here. So mm, <clears throat> let's do, I don't know. It'll be red. It's like a blood key. Boop. Cool. Uh, reveal card 10. Okay. And what the game says is, I think all these other ones are just discarded now. <clears throat> so I think they just go here. Uh, I'm just going to keep them face down so I know I didn't actually... Oh, I think they get taken out of the game. That, that, that's what it is. So I have no idea how I'm going to keep track of this. I'm going to just put it to the side. Yeah, that is right. They get taken out of the game. <clears throat> 10. The first key. Dun, dun, dun. Equip this card. Reveal card 13. Okay. Um, this says, this key allows you to roll one dice roll. Allows you one dice roll unlocks. Oh, okay. I, I think these are the key dice then. Nice. First key. Who knows? Maybe it will lead us in the right direction. <clears throat> okay. Um, so you equip it. Uh, Sedani seems like the powerhouse. So I'm going to give it to her. It says reveal card 13. So the way you keep track of this and... Uh, hopefully you can see it. The first key under her a little bit. Yeah, good enough. <clears throat> okay, uh, reveal card 13. So 11, 12 are not there anymore. I wonder what happens if I didn't kill him. Or her, whatever it was. Chapter 1, Sunshine. <clears throat> nice. Sunbeams punch through dusty air onto the black wall. The light blazes a hot orange in between two corridors. Am I hitting the tripod? No, I'm not. <clears throat> okay. Sunbeams punch through dusty air into the back wall. The light blazes a hot orange in between two corridors. There are signs of a struggle. A dead underdweller is lying face down in front of you with some overturned furniture. Glowing red blood trails, glowing red blood trails along the floor haphazardly toward the left. You suddenly feel warm. Humid air hit the back of your neck. Something tall and thin darts through the sunlight. You wait a moment and brace yourself for an attack, but none comes. In the midst of this chamber's stark isolation, you hear a hum. There is a small flicker of light from the left corridor, and the humming increases. The orange rays of sunlight start to fade away as the morning begins to pass. The room grows dark. You should move along. Let's see, I can either follow the tall, thin creature into the corridor on the left, or I want to avoid the mysterious creatures in the dark. I will go the corridor to the right. Let's follow. Yeah. Confidently, we will follow. Okay. <clears throat> Reveal card 14. What's up? <clears throat> Reflections. Oh, interesting. There's the, the key symbol on top of them. Huh. <clears throat> the left corridor reveals a small circular room with rows of benches facing three narrow mirrors. As you enter, an underdweller is passing through the center mirror as if it were a wall of water. The surface swirls in red as his body slides through. The room hums for a moment, then the mirror's reflection snaps back into place and the sound abruptly stops. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Up close, the mirrors look ordinary, reflections in all. You take a deep breath and put a hand on the surface. It's warm to the touch, but solid. Whatever occurred to here is beyond reason. Um, okay, you see nothing else of interest. After inspecting the surfaces of all three mirrors, you head back to the other corridor. Something lurks. I think I hear something. Nah, it's nothing. <laughs> uh, I think I hear something. Um, <laughs> let's do that. Reveal card 15. Oh boy, an enemy, the under rat. Oh, it's got an interesting like little light thing on it. Okay, uh, special rules. Well, at least one, this one's weaker than the other dude. Like, crap. Uh, special rules. When the encounter begins... Oh, allies suffer cripple. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Uh, the under rat does not use action cards. Each turn starts with one standard attack, the red bar, and ends each turn with one recoup, the white bar. Oh, okay. So there's no action cards for this guy. And I actually <clears throat> reshuffle these in between encounters, but I'll do that next time. So we all suffer cripple for three. It says all allies. <clears throat> allies suffer. Yeah, what do we got? What's cripple? Damage output 50% less. Round down. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Man, we're going to run out of yellow cubes. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. 
damage output 50% less. Okay, well, <clears throat> I said he wasn't powerful, but I guess that makes it a little rougher. Okay, four health. Four armor. We are ready to begin. So, okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so again, we've got cripple. Cripple. Damage output 50% less. Round down. Awesome. Uh, let's start with Leo Frick. And I wonder... So I think that's for the turn, right? Yeah, it happens for three turns. And then at the end during recoup, I would remove a token for Cripple. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> so new strategy because the resting seemed to work because that gave me boost. So let's do that again. So I'm just going to rest instead of taking this 50% uh, hit. And I wonder if that's the way this was designed on purpose. So let's see. Well, maybe. Rest. Five. So a five on the rest. What's that give me? So one plus one. So I get two. And that's two to my boost. So boom. That was my rest. That was my recoup. So I take one of these away, and that was my 50%. And now I'm going to have Sedani do the same thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> so that's an eight. So she gets three. So it gives her boost automatically, plus the rest. And I, I'm really not sure if it carries over, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it does. So... I'm going to use the plus one strength for my next turn, and I'm going to have one extra plus the rest. And the plus one strength, you know, I should probably just keep the status one <clears throat> on the top. That's going to be a plus one on my action roll for her. Nice. Okay, and she's going to lose one of these cubes. Cool. Okay, so the rat. Uh, the rat has no action stuff. He just immediately attacks with the red bar, right? Um, yeah. Okay. So... Any targets. Cool. So it's going to hit Sedani for three. Three does one damage. That is chew. All he does is chew. Chew, chew, chew. Because all the do rats do is eat. Cool. So now rat's going to heal. Five. Does not heal. Okay. Um, I'm going to rest again because I like this strategy. And as I bleed this rest out, I can... Well, I guess I could cleanse as well. If I cleanse, remove one status effect. Hmm. Mm. Because if I cleanse, then he would be free to attack the next turn. Mm, maybe I should have done that the first time. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, whatever. Let's do antlered. So 50% rounded down. So whatever I roll doesn't matter for antlered. So a one, cool. So that does nothing. And then an eight, which would hit him for one, 50% damage which is 0.5, rounded down, is 0, 0.0, so nothing. And you know what? I am going to cleanse for him. So I got to get a 4 to 8 to actually do cleanse. <clears throat> What's up? So I get rid of one cube, and I lose a cube, and he's going to do some big damage next turn. So Sedani, so 50%, she has that plus 1 strength, so that's plus to an action roll, and... You know what? Let's do that. So my rest is going to go away. I'm going to use my strength, which is plus one to an action roll. It's still going to be 50% rounded down, but let's look at these ranges. So, you know, mini cannon is looking pretty good. So let's do that. I'm going to see, can the rat really do much damage? Hmm. You can do a good number, but she's got like this armor on armor. Um... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait till she can do bigger damage. But yeah, let's just do mini cannon so I can at least maybe start chipping away. So mini cannon, I get plus one to this roll. It's a four, so that becomes a five. Mini cannon, ah, oh, still puts me there. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that would have been the same result. So one. So that's okay. So mini cannon, I do two damage. 50% rounded down. That's one. Take one armor away from the rat. And now I can heal or I can rebuild. And I think... I'm going to try to give boost to Leo Frick. I see how this is working. So let's heal him. Boom! Oh, it worked. What's up? 
Okay. <laughs> nice. I see how this works. Okay. So I healed. That worked. Hit a five. Heals for one. And I'm going to give that to him. And I think right when boost fills up, even if it's not in your turn, you can still spend it for strength. I believe that's how it works. During recoup, you may receive more blah, blah, blah. In these cases, place extra HP. La, la, la. Once you have the meter filled, you can spend it for strength in one turn. Hmm. Once you have the meter filled, you can spend it for strength. But it's not his turn, so can he not spend it until the next turn? I'm thinking so, because that's in the recoup phase that that boost thing is. Although recoup was for him. But it does say everyone, yeah. So once you have the meter filled, you can spend it for strength. Yeah, I'm going to say that's just during his turn. Interesting question, though. I will... Look it up on Board Game Geek. So, either way, um, well, I guess it didn't work out as I thought. So, that's fine. Um, heal boost. She loses a cube. It's the rat's turn. They're going to chew. Five makes it sedany. It's a one. Nothing happens. And then roll for heal on the rat. Wow. The rat actually healed. It's a seven. Oh, wait. Um, heal for one. And the rat has no boost or anything. Okay, so the rat actually can't heal because I'm just hitting its armor now. Um, okay, so Leo Frick. Hmm. So what does boost give me again? Boost gives me strength plus one on the action roll. So maybe I want to save that and not just use it all. So I can spend it this turn. Oh, maybe his rest should have been away. Um, okay, but I'm not weakened anymore, so we can start hitting this guy. Let's do jack attack. So I'm going to spend two. Jack attack. Oh my god. It's a one. Here we go. Back to my rolling habits. Good job, guy. Uh, let's heal. It's a one. <laughs> Leo Frick just stares at the ground for this turn. That was great. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. He's going to spend his boost. So, spends boost. He gets the strength plus one. So, he does get an extra one to his roll next turn. So, Sedani. Last time going to be like this. Um, should I heal him? Yeah, I'm going to try, well, no, I, I should do an action and then I'll try and heal. So let's keep going at him. Let's do the bulwark bash. And actually, does this, okay, so there is bleed on the rat, so I don't want to bleed her down all the way. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a bulwark bash. That's a three. One damage. Take away an armor. We got this. And now I'm going to heal and I'm going to try and heal Leo Frick. A one. All my heals were ones. Okay, nothing happens. Uh, but that is... Oh, wait. Three. Bulwark bash. One. No, no, no. I, I didn't... Uh, I did not hit the rat because I had the round down. So, boom. There we go. Okay, so I actually did no damage to the rat. So, But but the good thing is she can do stuff next time. So, rat goes. Ooh, this is the first time he gets Leo Frick. Four, seven. Ooh, okay. Uh-oh. He's going to take two damage. That's going to go to the armor. And then ability A. Intimidate for a round to their allies. So what is Intimidate? Intimidate is force a one action next turn. Oh, Intimidate to me, one turn. So Leo Frick gets intimidated. <laughs> Bro, big guy got intimidated by a rat. <laughs> Okay, uh, force a one action next turn. So he's intimidated. He only gets to do the one. That's cool. Uh, well, there goes my my big turn. Um, okay, six. And the rat heals again, but it's only health, so nothing happens. Let's keep going. Okay, so Leo Frick has to do a one action, and it's got this little sword symbol on it, which means I think I roll twice. So I roll twice, but I have strength plus one, and... I do plus one to the highest roll, so let's roll twice. Oh, that might actually be bad. Uh, I still have to spend the health to do the action. So we're doing splint there. Ooh, nice. So that's an eight. So it's plus one to the highest roll, which is the eight into one. Cool. Uh, so the one misses. The eight hits plus one on action roll if you have. So not the result, just the roll. Okay. <clears throat> so eight. So I actually hit him for two. 
which is pretty good. Boop. And then <laughs> Leo Frick, my friend, probably needs to heal. So a two, and of course he does not. Very good, very good. Sedaney. Hmm. You know what? We're going to rest and try and heal Leo Frick because he could be dead next turn if we don't. So as long as I don't get a one, he's going to be okay. Oh, it's an eight. All right. So eight means she gets put one rest right here. So he got healed for three plus one. So he's all the way back up to five. And I think we're going to take out this rat the next turn. <clears throat> so that was hers. No upkeep. Rat goes. Targets Leo Frick. For a value of a three, he gets hit for one. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that is incorrect. Um, he had two, four. Okay, so he would have been boosted one. Okay, and now he takes one. Cool. Um, yes. Okay, we're good. Uh, rat rolls for heal. Three. Nothing happens. Let's do this. <clears throat> Can Leo Frick kill the rat? I could. I could almost be dead, though, if I do that. Hmm... They roll a five to a seven. Mm, that's not going to kill the rat. Mash. Mm, let's slowly bludgeon this rat. So, yeah, and I can rest and heal him again. I like that. Um, let's actually do mash. Yeah, we're going to roll some dice. We're going to spend three. Do mash. The star means if I get a three or a four, that's the value. So, oh, it's a six. A six is... Four damage. Boom. One, two, three, four. To the rat. To the rat. Done. Uh, now let's see if we can heal. An eight. Oh my gosh. How did this not happen the first combat? One, two, three. Uh, cool. And actually, that's his turn. And you know what, Sedani? Uh, we're not going to protect him. We're going to we're gonna end this. Um, I, I don't... Mm, that kind of sucks. I'll just spend one because I don't want to die. Um, so we're going to do Bulwark Bash. A three. Woo! Okay. And that was just enough. Just one damage. Boom. The rat's done. That felt a lot better. Uh, I, I, I like my strategy a lot better this turn. Cool. Rat's done. Let's refresh everyone's health and armor. Going da, 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 da. Two and one, two. Easy. Oh, she actually is plus one. I gotta remember that. Rat's done. If you defeat the under rat reveal card 16 let's do it chapter one but it glows the rat glows um <laughs> you step in front of the rats remains i guess so um it is the largest vermin you've ever seen it's fur matted and damp a thick smell looms its antenna shines bright oh yeah i forgot I had an antenna uh, beyond death with a crackling magma glow this could prove useful. Reveal an action card. Uh, you cut off the antenna. The light remains strong. Oh, okay, so the action card. So I never shuffled them from the last time that I used them. So let's do that really quick. Uh, so based on the action card I get, oh, I can either equip this card or I can't. So, okay, here's hoping for a one to three. And why would I own the rat antenna? Come on, Kevin. <clears throat> okay, so I got a four, which means you hack off the antenna. It flies across the floor. Glowing blood splatters out, and the antenna goes dark. It's now useless. Good job, team. Good job, team. Uh, I am curious. So the reward, if I got it, it says glowing rat antenna. It's hairy, hairy, flaccid light source. It may help you navigate the treacherous place. Uh, unfortunate. So I don't get to keep it, but I get a reveal card 17. And with that, it looks like card 17 is the beginning of chapter 2. Oh, okay, yeah, it's identified this way. I wonder how many chapters there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I thought there's only 6, but interesting. Um, well, I was going to say if there's only 6, then me losing one person in one chapter is good. But if there's 12, I'm in, a, I'm in rough shape. So uh, I, I think that's going to be it for today. Just chapter one playthrough. This is a pretty good length. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you did, and maybe I'll do more of the chapters. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, so long, farewell.